Students, here we have information presented in the form of different kinds of charts which mostly include pie chart, web diagram and a food pyramid. You can be expected to present the information given in these charts in a verbal format. Now that we are writing a paragraph, you must note that you'll be writing a complete sentence. Do not skip information bits that are mentioned in the diagram or chart. Lastly, make sure that you use variety in your sentence formation. Do not be monotonous and repetitive. Let's now have a look at how information shown in a pie chart can be written in a verbal format. Firstly, you need to understand what the diagram is all about. Here, the pie chart gives us information on modes of transport used by school children. This will constitute the title or heading of a paragraph. We start off by stating the given pie chart highlights and modes of transport used by children coming to school. The diagram clearly shows maximum children travel to school by bus. Students, remember it is very important for us to mention the percentage proportion given in the diagram. Thus, we write it is observed that maximum children, that is, 50% of the children, come to school by bus, whereas 21% of the children are picked and dropped by their parents. The pie chart also shows only 17% of children come walking to school. Now let's consider the remaining two percentages, that is, 8% and 4%. These are the lowest percentages given in the diagram. Thus, we can use words such as lowest, least or less in a paragraph. We say, students coming to school by cycle or personal motorized vehicles is comparatively less. Now we mention the percentages. Only 8% of children prefer the option of cycling while 21% of children use personal motorized vehicles to come to school. We have now incorporated the points given in the diagram. Thus, our paragraph is complete. Examples of a food chain and web chart of a food pyramid have been given to you in your books. You can skim through them and attempt the other exercises on your own.